this is what's interesting about the way you approach it, and I love it because I mean, I, I love, I've read crime or horror since I was a kid, both thrillers and all that, and, and watched it on television and in cinema. And as time has evolved, almost all of it has become more brutal, more violent. But I don't get that in yours, and this is what I like because it seems like a modern book, but I still don't feel like I'm consuming mm. a lot of the gratuitous violence that I would normally uh, come across. And I, I imagine that's got to be a choice for you because you've seen the culture shift. Yeah, well, I mean, I think, you know, some people want to push the envelope. They want to go somewhere that nobody's gone before. And one way to do that in crime fiction is to make it more extreme. It's to make the, the serial killer more extreme than a previous serial killer, mm -hmm. to out Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter. And I mean, that was a route I thought about when I was a young writer. And then I had, an, I had a lovely editor who said, oh, that seems too graphic. And I said, oh, so I can write crime fiction that isn't graphic. He went, yeah, he said, leave it to the reader's imagination. And the same goes for sex scenes. Mm -hmm. You know, sex scenes are really hard to write. And there was a sex scene in one of my early books that was Rebus having sex. <laughs> and my editor said, can, you just, can we just leave it at the bedroom door? Because nobody wants to watch John Rebus having sex, Did right? You, but but a, lot of, a lot of authors write and a part of the character is a part of their own life. Did you take that as a personal affront to you in your sex life when you heard that? <laughs> No, I was, I was relieved, because it's the hardest thing to, I mean, writing violence is easy. You know, writing a scene where someone gets hit over the head with a hammer is right. easy. Um, writing a scene where people are getting intimate, yeah. no. Best left which, is why, which is why we don't have an award for gr gratuitous violence, but we do have an award in fiction for bad sex. It's called the Bad Sex Award. Right. And it's given to a kind of mainstream novel, a, a, you know, a, a proper novelist who's been around for a while who's written a really terrible sex scene in her latest book. Is, is it like a raspberry? Is it a, is it a badge of honour when you get that award? Can be. I've not been up for it yet, but for various reasons, you know, because well, I, I don't put sex in my books. Until they reread your early stuff, maybe they will yeah. come across it. Yeah, I'm, glad you three. I'm glad you mentioned Hannibal because Hannibal's a great example. Eddie Izzard was in this red chair and he was, we were talking about the idea of crime and how it's evolved. Those uh, Poirot type movies, the, the Agatha Christie's. There's nothing cozier, and some very safe middle class people from around the world would just get themselves into bed or into a into a comfy sofa with a cup of Horlicks, mo cup of coffee, and watch. Ah, oh, there's a dead person. How did they die? Oh, they died like that. And then, and it's. And there's nothing cosier than to start off with a death at the beginning of a thing or murder. She wrote. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't injury. She wrote. She didn't do that one. <laughs> that's the one thing that's stayed true, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, what, what brings me to the crime novel is what crime tells us about ourselves, what it tells us about society. Crime fiction at its best comes down to a very simple question. Why do human beings continue to do bad things to each other?